welcome to my channel today's topic is production detection and uses of electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations before i start this topic i would highly recommend all the listeners to watch on my videos on electromagnetism electromagnetic theory and electromagnetic spectrums including emission and absorption spectrum because thorough understanding of such fundamental concepts are very essential in practical engineering or physical analysis work therefore i would recommend that do watch my videos based on these topics so first of all today we will study production and detection and uses of gamma rays gamma rays are produced when cobalt 60 decays to excited nickel 60 by beta decay nickel 60 drops down to brown state by emitting two gamma rays in succession gamma rays are also produced by alpha decay of americium 237 to form neptunium 237 and they are also produced by fission and fusion reactions etc now what are the uses of gamma rays and how we can detect gamma rays for this purpose we use spectrometers that use scintillators or solid state detectors to transform gamma rays into optical or electronic signals gamma rays imaging rely on nature of gamma rays interaction process for example pair production etc now gamma rays are used to kill living organisms by process called irradiation gamma rays are used to treat some types of cancer by procedure called gamma knife surgery and used in nuclear medicine as well in imaging techniques next comes x rays x rays are produced by the acceleration of a charged particle by atomic transitions between discrete energy levels and by radioactive decay of some atomic nuclei and they are detected by photographic plates films rare earth screens photostimulable phosphors psls and geiger counters x rays are used in medical field in angiocardiography for brain scanning cancer detection radiotherapy examination of baggage at airports and in dental now ultraviolet rays ultraviolet waves are produced by the sun or uv bulbs of lights and they are detected by skin or flesh and by fluorescent substances and uses are in tanning sun tanning and security purposes now visible light visible light is produced by the sun and by light bulbs and they are detected by eyes by photographic films and their uses are in vision photography and photosynthesis now infrared waves infrared waves are produced by hot or warm objects or by the sun and they are detected by photographic films by thermometers with a blackened bulb that absorbs radiation then temperature rises that is in photoelectric materials and these infrared rays or infrared radiations or infrared waves are used in night vision in tv and remote radio remote controls and in lamps now microwaves microwaves are produced by aerials and they are detected by dishes or satellites and their uses are in mobile phones tv satellite communications and telephone and lastly radio waves radio waves are produced by transmitting stations and by aerials they are detected by radio set microphones sorry mobile phones and they are used in radio communication thank you for watching
welcome to my channel today's topic is uses of x rays in the last lesson you studied production detection and uses of electromagnetic waves today's lesson will exclusively discuss x rays in the field of medicine and in airport security before i start this topic i would like to mention that x rays were first discovered by ronjan in 1895 and are also known as ronjan rays then mary curie who has outstanding contribution not only in the field of physics and chemistry but also in the world of medicine she worked on the x ray machine discovered by ronjan in 1895 she was awarded the 1911 nobel prize in chemistry for her discoveries and studies of the elements radium and polonium she is the only woman thus far who has been awarded the nobel prize twice she died of cancer due to excessive exposure to these radiations so x rays have their harmful effects as well like risk of cancer risk of heart problems but defects skin burns reduction of blood supply and they destroy living tissues in plants and animals so first of all we will study x rays in medicine in medicine x rays can be used to produce an image of any body part and are used for both diagnosis and therapy they penetrate soft tissues but are stopped by bones which absorb them if a photographic or x ray sensitive plate is placed on a part of a body and an x ray source is placed in front what will happen x ray exposure will result in a picture of internal bones and organs when the plate or radiograph is developed a negative image is produced that is bones and dense tissues show up as light or white regions while tissues that are easily penetrated by x ray appear dark see these images bones are the most opaque structures in the body cancer tumors that is dense tissue show up unusually light in radiographs these images are used by doctors to diagnose diseases detect foreign objects in the body examine dental casualties and study damage of broken bones now x rays in security x ray radiations penetrate different materials at various rates the x ray machine sees the variations in that density they also pick up on metals and drugs they use dual energy x ray system this system has a single x ray source sending out x rays typically in the range 140 to 160 kilowatt power the higher the kilowatt power the further the x ray penetrates x rays after passing through each item are picked up by a detector this detector then passes the x rays onto a filter which blocks out the lower energy x rays the remaining high energy x rays hit a second detector since different materials absorb x rays at different levels the image on the monitor lets the machine operator see distinct items in your bag thank you for watching welcome to my channel today's topic is infrared radiations under this topic we will study infrared radiation used in intruder alarms as well as in remote controls before i start this topic i would like all my listeners who have not done so far to subscribe my channel so first of all infrared radiation used in remote controls remote controls are consumer infrared devices used to issue commands from a distance to TVs or stereo systems DVD players and dimmers now working off a remote control an infrared remote control or a transmitter sends out pulses of infrared light that represent specific binary codes these binary codes correspond to commands such as power on or off and volume up or down the infrared receiver in the tv stereo or other device decodes the pulses of light into the binary data that is ones and zeros that the device microprocessor can understand
the microprocessor then carries out the corresponding command. Now before I start infrared in intruder alarms, I would like to mention one more thing that the basic parts involved in sending an IR signal in remote control include buttons, IC, LED and buttons contacts. Now infrared in intruder alarms. There are two parts, a transmitter that sends out an in invisible beam of infrared radiation and a receiver, usually a photocell, that detects the beam some distance away. Normally the receiver picks up a steady signal from the transmitter but if a person walks into the room and interrupts the beam, the receiver stops picking up the signal. The circuit attached to it will notice straight away and set off the alarm. Thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel SS Academy. Today's topic is microwaves. This is the last lecture on electromagnetic wave series. Under this topic, you will learn about the working of microwave ovens and dangers associated with using microwaves. Moreover, you will also learn about safety issues while using microwaves. So first of all, we will study how microwave oven works. Microwaves cause food molecules to vibrate rapidly, creating friction that produces heat, which then cooks the food. It means that food cooked in a microwave simply absorbs microwaves and turns their energy into thermal energy, which cooks the food. Microwaves cook from the outside towards the center of the food. Now, what are the dangers associated with using microwaves? There are a number of dangers. The most important one is that they cause structural isomerism that is structural damage of the food molecules. Also, there is significant decrease in the nutritional value of the foods up to 60 to 90 percent of the normal food. There is a reduction in vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin E and essential minerals. Glucosides, nitrilocytes, alkaloids in vegetables are damaged as well. Now, there are many food molecules that are converted into carcinogens which lead to cancer. Radiations decrease the immune system of humans and the regular eating of microwave cooked foods causes memory loss, emotional problems, decrease in IQ and a decrease in hormonal production. Now what are safety issues while using microwaves? First of all, you should make sure that frozen foods are thawed properly in the microwave before cooking because cold spots may allow bacteria levels to rise. The use of cooking bags and lids or covering the containers with plastic film helps ensure even cooking and destruction of harmful bacteria. You should ensure a more even temperature by using shallow and round containers rather than scared or high topped ones. Always observe recommended standing time on microwave food products such as popcorns or prepackaged meals. Also avoid cooking stuffed poultry as it is hard to ensure this stuffing has reached a temperature high enough to kill bacteria. Always read the instruction manual thoroughly and only use microwave safe containers. Make sure that if you use glass or ceramic containers, they should be safe. Otherwise, what will happen? They may overheat and cause burns. Never use plastic grocery bags, newspapers or plastic containers for frozen food because compounds from the heated plastic can leach into the food. Also, plastic film should not touch the food to avoid migration of the chemicals from the plastic. Now, to cook high fat food, what you should use? You should always use glass containers labeled as microwave safe. Do not use metal containers or container with metal trims. Aluminium foil should not touch the sides of the oven. Also, children should be supervised by their elders. They should be taught its use and aware of the possible damage, dangers. Consider buying an oven with a child safety lock. Okay, thank you for watching.